Hi, my name is Brian Loicano. We're at Acme Restaurant, and we're about to make the raw kale and Brussels sprout Caesar salad. The kale Caesar salad is kind of a, I want to say, a pretty common Caesar salad setup. So when we were thinking of the dish for the new Acme Restaurant, we thought of rub Brussels sprouts, and I like to use Brussels sprouts raw as opposed to cooked, as they're commonly used for, because they have a really floral taste to them, and they could hold dressing really well. So to get started, we're going to prep our Brussels sprouts with a mandolin. Okay, this guy is the Japanese mandolin. You can find them in most stores. Okay. Relatively thin, but I would say about, if you were to put maybe five sheets of paper together, is about as thin as we're going to do the Brussels sprout. You could do it with a knife. The mandolin's easy and consistent. If you have good knife skills, you could just shave it and make sure they're nice and thin and uh, consistent. Uh, well, if they're too thick, then the idea of them being raw is a little, a little silly. I mean, you want to cut them nice and thin so they're tender and the amount of dressing they take is going to season and macerate that one part of the Brussels sprout. If it's too thick, it'll never truly cook the Brussels sprout with the acid and the salt. For me, the taste of a raw Brussels sprout is kind of, uh, kind of that cabbage you'll get in the slaw, except, like I said, it's got a little bit of a more floral taste to it, and just a little kind of a cross between if you were to eat a raw broccoli and a cabbage. Now we can make our dressing. Our dressing, we start with two soft boiled eggs, and we only soft boil them for three minutes, so they're very runny. Um, the whites aren't totally set yet. The yolk should be cooked, though. But the idea is that you're kind of making a nice base, not just of egg yolks, but of the entire egg. For me, the egg yolks always add a certain richness to a salad dressing, and for the base of a mayo and things like that. Using the whole egg, I kind of think, adds a nice egg flavor to the Caesar dressing, but also that's not too strong because it's soft boiled, not hard boiled, or not raw. And uh, I really, I just think the richness is kind of the key when using the soft boiled egg. All right, so now that you have your soft boiled eggs in the blender, we add our two anchovy and a clove and chopped garlic. And we add our Parmesan cheese. We're gonna start to blend this in the blender on low, just to kind of make a small bit of a paste. So when you mix the anchovy, the eggs, the cheese, and the garlic, you're going to kind of make a base. So it's going to be still going to have some chunk to it in a couple pieces, but the idea is to make a nice smooth base so you can add your oil. Once you're on low, you're going to slowly add your oil. You want it to thicken up. As you add the oil slowly to the egg mixture, it's going to thicken once it won't blend anymore. Obviously, it can't hold any more oil. You could add a little bit of water to thin it out. And uh, but really, it's... Once it gets thick and it starts pulling that move in the blender, you should understand it's time to stop adding oil. There you go. So afterwards, we're just gonna season with lemon juice, Worcestershire sauce, a little sherry vinegar, Tabasco, and a little salt. Be careful with the salt, because depending on what kind of anchovies you add, you could really put a little too much salt in your dressing, but... Now that we have our kale cut, we have our Brussels sprouts shaved, and we have the Caesar salad dressing made. We have some croutons that we grill, old French baguette, after rubbing the baguette with a little bit of garlic for a little extra garlic flavor. So we're gonna add some of our kale. We're gonna go about half and half for Brussels sprout to kale. Yeah, we're gonna add a nice handful of garlic uh, croutons. These you wanna put in the beginning because it's nice if they get a little bit of the dressing and kind of become one with the salad. We're also gonna add a pinch of raw shallot. That's gonna add a nice oniony flavor to the salad and give a little bit of a bite to it. Our dressing, you don't wanna add too much, but at the same time, this, this combination of kale and Brussels sprout can really hold a lot of dressing. You almost wanna take it and for me, I kind of give it a small squeeze because you want to give the Brussels sprouts and kale a chance to not break down, but kind of, maybe I would say, macerate with the dressing and the acids and the shallots and everything, kind of become one flavor. Okay, so to finish the garnish on this, we're going to add a little bit of shaved Parmesan cheese on top. When I say shaved, we take the Parmesan a whole brick with a peeler and just peel it down so we have these nice, thin, long strips of cheese. And we'll take our six-minute soft-boiled eggs. This is a soft-boiled egg we put in boiling water for six minutes, take it out, chill it down. 
And then for the actual salad, we'll cut it in half quickly so the egg doesn't fill out the yolk, the egg yolk doesn't spill out. We'll put it with the salad. The idea of this is that to add a little bit more richness, we want the acid from the dressing, the shallots, the cheese, and the egg yolk to kind of come together and make one dressing while the people are eating, okay? To finish, we'll finish with a little bit of finishing salt on top of the egg. And then we have a special peppercorn that we use in-house called a timut peppercorn, which is a black pepper that has a really floral lemon flavor to it. So it kind of kicks off the whole dish at the end. Thank you for watching. This is the raw Brussels sprout kale Caesar salad at Acme.